Hey guys, and how's it going? For those who don't know, this is my generator. It's an old, it's an older generator. It's got a Tecumseh 10 horse motor on it. Pretty decent generator. If you haven't seen it, I've got another one just like it over there in the shop, as you can see sitting up there against the wall. Rub the carburetor off of it for the round fender video with the pull start motor, just like this. And I haven't put it back on yet. It's got a pretty bad oil leak and it ran the best. <laughs> as you guys saw in that earlier clip, the motor has a hunt to it. I tried plugging a heater into it and I also plugged a little desk light into it to see if I could help get the, the uh, little hunt the hunt out of it and it didn't seem to help. If you ask me, it helped a little bit, but it also seemed to make it worse. So I thought, well, we could pull the carburetor off. And so I've got the ultrasonic cleaner warming up right now and this also hangs up. It may not now, but it does sometimes. Yeah, see it wants to. So I thought we could oil that. Or I don't know what the deal is with it, but we'll figure it out. So that's what's going on right now. I have the ultrasonic cleaner warming up in there. Wasn't really planning on making a video on this, but it started hunting, so I thought, well, make a video and show you guys what it how to get the hunt out of it. And plus it make a cool video. So let's go on ahead and we will dive into this and get that hunt out of it. Okay, let's go on ahead and get this carburetor pulled apart. Take a look at it and see. Now, if I'd have known I was going to be doing this today, I would have warmed up the ultrasonic cleaner. Oh, look at that. It does have a... It's got a low mixture screw, but no high mixture screw. Now, how is this thing going to look inside? This is... Oh, that's clogged. Yeah, let's see. Ready? I want to hit it. I don't want to twist it. That's the. There we go. We got it. I would say float looks okay. I know the float's good. Needle seems okay. Do I want to pull this gasket? <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Let's pull the, go we'll grab my pliers and we'll pull that out of there. Let's get this float piece out of here so we can. I hope it'll come out. It might come out easy, it might not. Here's to. Want to so 
There we go. We got it. Now we got to figure out what we're going to do with that gasket. Because I can already tell you right now that gasket's not going to come out of there willingly. So we'll pull this. I knew that would happen. Go on ahead and we'll pull the gasket out of here. Carbide tip. <laughs> we could leave the gasket in there, but it'll end up getting messy. Let me grab a flat head and see if there's a notch or something somewhere we can use to. Of course not. Well, there we go. It wants to. Coming out a lot better than I expected for it being over 20 years old. Can you guys see? Hope so. I want to be careful because I don't have another gasket on hand. And if I end up ruining this, that's it. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, we got that out of there. I would. Everything on here looks okay. Choke moves like it should. Throttle moves. I don't know if this motor has an idle circuit or not. Yeah, it does. Oh, there's no main jet. I don't know. Drop it in there. It fits. Not a lot of little parts on this one. That bull doesn't look half bad. It's a little bit dirty, but that is to be expected, you know. I mean, these little old things are usually abused. Got this in here. Oh shit. Of course it fell out. Then there's a I forgot all about that gasket. This gasket actually might be okay. You don't want your gaskets to expand while they're in there, that's the thing. Certain cleaners will do it. I don't know if the stuff I use will. This is just dish soap, cheap dish soap from Walmart. Or not Walmart, dollar store. We'll put the float in here too, right there. We'll drop the float in up on top. I want to make sure that that float floats. Oh, we could put that in here. This little... I know it floats, but I need to verify it. Ready? Let's drop this in. There we go. Then we'll put the float up top. Floats. Put the lid on it and then we will let this run. We'll put it in for 30. We'll run it for about an hour. And I'll be back when that is done. I figured while that was in there cleaning, we could go on ahead and drain the oil. I'm gonna have to run in the house and grab my little oil pan though. So. Let me run in real quick and I'll grab my oil pan. We'll drain the oil out of it and see how it looks. I had to do some digging and I found my oil pan, but here's the problem. Well, actually, never mind, it'll fit. Wouldn't earlier. So let me go grab my 
find out what size wrench I need for that. Okay, let's go on ahead and get this oil drained out of here. Let's see how it looks. It shouldn't be that shouldn't be that bad at all. It's still warm. Ready? What the hell? This damn There we go. Now it wants to loosen up. Keep getting caught on stuff. I'd be better probably if I was using a wrench to do this, but I think this should be okay. And by a wrench, I mean a normal wrench, not a crescent wrench. Ready? Yum. That looks yummy. <laughs> Let that oil drain out of there for a little while, and then once then I'll bring you guys back. There's still a little bit coming out, but I think it should be to the point now where it's empty, so... No metal on the magnet, so that's good. I'll put this back in here and tighten it down. See it's starting to drip. I'll say it's pretty well out. Let's get this tightened in and then... No gas in the oil, so that's good. That means the float's good. Same with the needle. Let's see, that's tight enough. Okay. Let's go on ahead and get this out of here, and we'll put the new oil in. Is this going to come out willingly, or are we going to have to fight? No, it came out. For anybody wondering what this is, it's just an old frying pan that the paint started chipping in. That oil swooshes around. Let me go grab my oil and my funnel. We'll put some oil on it. Went in there and I grab my oil. Let's go on ahead and put the new oil in. Okay, let's go on ahead and get this out of here. I would say that stuff actually cleaned up pretty nice. Looks a lot better than it did. So let's go on ahead and get this thing put together. There's our float. Oh dear. I sure hope we didn't mess that up. Everything is clean though and looks good, so get this thing put back together and once we get her put back together we'll be done. Got it all put back together. Are you guys ready to see if we did it right? Let's find out. Choked. Got to turn our fuel on. Keep your eye open for leaks. If you see any, let me know. Give it a second to run through. I don't see anything right now, so it might be okay. Ready? Runs a lot better.
let it warm up for a little bit. Let's try plugging something in and give it a load. Doesn't run half bad. Once it figured out how much of a load it had on it, it throttled up. Then as it was starting to die, it throttled back down. What I was doing was I was pushing the choke. Well, I was turning the choke on slowly. As the motor started running out of gas, I would turn the choke up a little bit just to help it keep uh, keep on going. They got all that fuel out of the carburetor. Should pull the bowl off to make sure I got all of it out, but I'm not going to leave it setting as long as I did. <laughs> it's going to get used. So I, dry, I shut the fuel line off and just let it run out of fuel. It's still got some stuff in the tank, not a whole lot, but just enough to, in case if I end up needing it, you know, it's there. So, okay, well, I'm going to go on ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope that helped you guys out. And I will see you all in the next video.